Hey, welcome back. So still at this problem, I haven't tried to fix it off camera. So I want us to do this together. All right. So we are receiving data here, load inputs. So once we go to the lecture at load inputs, there should be a data type lecture in there. So I just removed this, but I'll leave it for now like that. Uh, oops, what have I done? Okay, there we go. Oh, so we are passing in object dot data. Okay, I see. So what I'm going to do is say object dot data dot data type. Okay, I think that's what I missed there. So let's refresh. Still nothing. Okay, that's fine. Let me find load inputs and see what kind of data we are receiving in the lecture section. So let me go down to lecture section and let's look at uh, load inputs, which is right here. So here, I just want to do a console.log of data that we are receiving so that I can see it. So again, inspect the element, go to the console and let's refresh. Okay, so indeed we are receiving these arrays and they do have a data type of lecture. So there's an object here and another object there. Aha, uh -huh, and then there's data type lecture. Okay, so maybe that's where the issue is. It's the formats here. So if I come down here, uh, I think we don't need this. Let me just remove this to sort this problem out. Like so. Because there's only one data type that comes here anyway. So let me remove that to avoid problems. Okay, so there's type error now, add new. So add new has a problem. Where is that problem? Let's click there and try to see it. Okay. Document.query selector. What has that got to do anything? Document.query selector is no. Ah, okay. So it can't find that item. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to the add new section which is this one. So what it's saying is that it can't find this object. So what we're going to do is let's try an alert and let it tell us what section is. So let's try again. So it's JS lecture one. Okay, that's great. What is this object here? So let's inspect that and see what it says. Uh, this one is JS lecture zero. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I see what's going on here. We're almost done. It's just a matter of um, the wrong naming here. So why is this ID equal to one is my question. then we didn't need to actually supply this, right? Minimum. I think we just needed to look at the inputs count. That's all we needed to do. So this was a mistake, I guess. Let me remove this here, curriculum ID. Sorry about that. Instead, I need to get the lecture, lecture, inputs count. Okay. Oh, wait. No, this is the inputs for the ones that are in here. I need the inputs for the ones that are out there. Hmm. Wow. Can't really put my finger on it. Okay. Let's go back to the curriculum section. That's the curriculum section. So the input count here shouldn't matter. But what we send here should matter. Where is this? This one right there, inputs count, right? This. That should represent this. 
but let's see what's going on. If I do an alert there, and let's refresh, the first one should be zero, but it starts with one. So why does it do that? Maybe because we already have increased the number at this point. This is very strange. It says one there, but we've already loaded one here. That's, oh, maybe that's why. This one is lecture zero. So it's supposed to capture that one first. So where are we increasing this value from? Ah, sorry, we are increasing it right there. So this is the problem. We're increasing this value before sending it. Okay, I got it now. So this is where the problem is. Let's swap these guys like so. Oops. Yeah, so that we send it before we increment it like this. Then we don't need this because we, we removed that if statement at all. So I'm going to do this. That should work. So let's try this one more time. And there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow, it was a complex journey, but <laughs> looks like we are here. So we do have the description. We don't have the title. So that's weird. But at least I can see that data was saved and it's being lo loaded in. So a section and lecture here. Okay. So let me see why the the title is not being saved, not just not the description. So that's fine there. I'm sure it's in the data. So which means we just have to go to the lecture section and the add new section and see what's going on here. So in the add new, this value, what are we supposed to have here? There's title and description, right? So let's see. What do we have? So instead of value here, it should be title. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a placeholder. There's a name there. And there should be a title. Let me just confirm if that's what we are sending here. Name lecture. Okay. So it's value value. Okay. So the problem comes from here. Here value should be equal to title like that. And then there's description, which is description. That's fine. Okay, so let's see if that solves the problem. Okay, that did solve the problem. All right, very cool. Okay, so at least now we can actually read from the database, read our data from the database. Very nice, very nice. And once we can do this now, um, yeah, we need to be able to update now. Since we can save, we need the update. The update is also a little bit complex, but we are almost done. Once we are done with this, this is going to be good because we can now show the, uh, the, the side where we play the, the videos because all the data we want will be here. It'll be a video file, title and description. Uh, then yeah, we can delete, edit and all sorts of things. Okay, so this is awesomeness. Let's uh, deal with the edit now. So if I try to save this now, uh, it should save properly again. So since this was not used at all, I'm going to remove it like so. Just do that. Okay, great. All right. Uh, Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is good. So back to the admin section. Now we have to deal with uh, the saving of this side. So where we are at curriculum here is where we did our saving. Now, as you remember, when sorting the data here, we didn't need some of these code. So we're just going to remove it permanently now for cleaner code 
and this one as well here okay so we grabbed the description and that mm-hmm mm -hmm, that's okay and then save to lectures table this is where we saved to the lectures table which is nice now the thing is instead of just saving directly here we should check if the UUIDs already exist and then we replace them just like we were we are doing with this here uh, we need old lecture IDs so the same way we are grabbing old records here and old IDs we should do the same for the other side now also we need to use the disabled key we have this disabled here which we are not using so when reading the data let me go to where we are reading the data up here where is that let me go to the read section the get meta section right here so here i'm just looking for specific uuid but i should also add that disabled must be zero so let's do that so that we don't grab any disabled items and then if we come down here first of all so disable all records from this course id right so i'm just going to duplicate this area right here so i want to do exactly the same uh for actually let me copy it So I need to do this inside the loop. So while I'm saving this uh, and I come to this point, I should disable everything that has a specific UUID right there. Like, yep, like this, UU, whatever this UUID is, which we've done there. So I should first disable everything. So let's say I want to save, let's go back here. I want to resave these guys. What I'll do first is I'll disable everything that has this specific UUID and then rewrite them again. That's because in case there's a variation of the data, it should be saved in there. So let's do that now, just like we explained on the other one. So I'm going to use some of this code, but change it a bit. So disable all records from the course lectures table so old records we want to grab all of them right so i'll just change this to old wherever it says old to speed things up i'm just going to say old lecture underscore like that so old lecture records so instead of using course meta we'll use course lecture and then here what we are looking for is the uid so uid uh, we grab all records we just need the uid uh, we don't need that tab name uh -huh. so this is the uid we're going to be using so we'll put that there like so so all the old records are in here now and then what we need to do is put that empty IDs so old if we did find some old records then we will do uh, old lecture IDs grab them by ID that's great then for each old rich, uh, records to record and then instead of course meta this is course lecture uh, object so which means I should instantiate this a bit earlier why was i instantiating it inside a loop this was irresponsible so should never instantiate things within a loop so let me just put it right above here so many loops in here unfortunately so it's kind of hard to not fall into that trap as you can see here so let me just instantiate it from here because we'll be using it throughout so let me move down here let's see mm -hmm. okay okay 
okay so we get to this point old lecture records and then course lecture update records disable all of them so record id disable that's fine so here we've disabled so let's say we are saving we go back here we'll disable all the ones that are from here disable them and then replace them and then if we have more new records then once we finish replacing we'll start inserting new ones again so here we are inserting new ones but we want to be able to update first those that are updatable and then insert the new ones with those so we're already doing this with this if statement here so if count old ids then do this else we do this so i'm going to grab this one here copy this uh, that's exactly how i want to save things here as well so paste this here like so move it boom mm -hmm. so old let me use lecture again oops i went too far so come down here again so there's only four of these so I'll grab old then i'm going to put lecture there like so just to make them unique so old lecture ids hmm, which is there if they're greater than zero uh if count is greater than zero which means there are some items then my old array pop old lecture ids what am i doing here then course update update that hmm wait a minute wait a minute update where does this come from shouldn't this be in a, in a in a loop or something it's in this loop okay right where we are gathering the data okay okay my bad so this should be in here so i'm going to do this and uh, move it i should move it down here oops mm -hmm. okay so instead of just saving these as an insert we'll count if old lecture ids which is from there because it's going to contain all the old ones so if it's still greater than zero then let's make an update instead so that's fine so instead of course meta this is course lecture that we are updating there's an id there and then there's this array that we've created here the uuid the title um, and then the description great but then if it's no longer empty then we do a new one right here so first of all we create a new oh wait a minute we shouldn't create a new uuid because we are supposed to use the existing one so we remove this mm -hmm. then course lecture while oh, what's happening here what's happening we already have a loop here going on so uuid no so since we are not creating any new uuids there's no need for this code here we just have to insert instead so whatever was here we put it here instead so i'm going to grab that and put it in here and then let's remove that like so hopefully it's not too confusing but um, that's what we're doing here we're doing exactly what we're doing on the uh we, let's say for example uh, here we have two records right now if i go back here and delete these two records meaning we have zero records now so what will happen is that it will disable these two and that will be the end of it because we have no new records but let's say instead i add an extra record here which means now there are three so what will happen is it will disable these two first 
And then instead of creating, instead of deleting them, it just disable them. And then what it will do is it will replace these two. And then since there's a third one, it will insert a new record instead, but they will have the same uh, UUID. So let's try that. Let me add here, uh, we'll call this one lecture four, since we already have three here. And we'll say lecture four description. Where is that? What has happened? Ugh. Wait a minute. Let me refresh this. Let me click add. I think something moved. Lecture four, lecture four description, like that. Okay, so one, two, four. There's three here. So I just want to show you that this one will save an extra. It's going to replace these and then save an extra row here. So let's try this. I'm going to hit save. Course saved successfully. If I come back here and browse, you'll see that um, it has saved an extra one. The problem is it has disabled these others, which is not right. Why didn't it enable them after? Okay, so the problem is when replacing, uh, when updating here, let's see if old is greater than zero wait they are still there update so when updating here we need to put disabled as well so that's one thing i forgot so let's just make sure disabled uh, is equal to zero when we do this okay because otherwise now we only have fewer records here as you can see only four is there but for now let me uh, manually enable these guys. I'll edit this like so. So if I now refresh, you see that it has saved all the data quite right. Let me add one more here instead. We'll call this one lecture five and we'll call this one lecture five description. I want it to save as well. So let me save. Great. So let me reload the page and you see lecture five is there in the right place, just like these others here. And as you can see here, but then if I delete all of these guys now and I don't add anything new, then um, yeah, it will work as intended. So this is all good now. Things are saving as intended. So. It's just a matter of adding an extra field now, which is the video file. Uh, the column already exists, so we just need to add the path to the video file, and that will be it. Let's see. So then we can have videos on a section that we want, which will be awesome. Okay. So let me remove this. So that is gone. If I can move this up like that. So now I have number four and number one and three, five. So we have one, four, three, five. So let me try and save this and see if it works out. And let me refresh the page. As you can see, it's still the same one, four, three, five. So regardless what I do here, it will sort itself out here. As you can see, it has disabled this one because it's no longer needed and replace this one with four and one and three accordingly. So things are working as intended. Now the next thing is to add a video file here. So we're going to, since the browse button already works, we'll add video files here and then tell it to save while we watch the progress bar happening there. Alrighty then, I'll see you in the next video.